Thank you. It's great to be here at LAX. That stands for Los Angeles. I don't know what the X is for. I love coming to the airport. I just, I don't know. Some people, they don't like it. I like to either be really early to the airport or really late. If you get there early, you get to spend a lot of time in purgatory, what I call airportatory. I like to be in that place that is like a, a mall, but it's extremely expensive. You can get a cup of coffee for like 10 bucks. It seems like price gouging, but we like it, we love it. You know, going to the airport, when I get there, I just feel so free. I, I just leave my world behind. Everything that I own is in maybe two pieces of luggage. And I just feel like it's time for me just to let my hair down. It's kind of like being in the military. People just tell you what to do. I love the TSA. There's somebody yelling, take off your shoes. Get your computer out of your bag. What are you doing, man? You can't even tell a joke. You're not allowed. There's signs that say no joke. That's a big relief for a comedian. You don't have to be funny. You don't have to have any punchlines. I like it. it. Feels good. When I go through the line, I like to bring a really expensive looking bottle of wine. I get a, a cheap ass bottle of wine that looks expensive. And so when they say, hey, you can't bring any liquids, you're gonna have to throw that out. I always say, but but please, this bottle of wine cost me $3,000. And they're like, I don't care. You have to throw it out. And I throw it into the garbage and I just, you know, I look back to see who's gonna dig that thing out of the, out of the can. Who's gonna miss their flight, take that thing back to their car because they think it's worth $3,000. And then they find out it's like two bucks chucks from Trader Joe's. It's a great gag. I like gags where you never really see the outcome. Anyway, so then I go through and you put your hands up and, and somebody has a camera somewhere where they get to look at you naked. I don't know who that person is. I don't know what that job is. Seems like it's good work if you can get it. I like to put a lot of wires in my carry-on bag because I don't like to get to a place and not have the right adapter, not have the right charger. So I like to put every possible wire that I can in the bag. And that, of course, flags me as a problem. And they always have to take my bag aside, go through it, all the different wires. That's fun to me. And then when I get through, I like to immediately buy a very expensive cup of coffee. You see all these people like at 7.30 in the morning, all lined up in the bar, just tanking, just drinking. I don't know why it's okay to drink at the airport at 7.30 in the morning. The rest of the world, we say, hey, you know, you got a problem. But there, it's totally natural. I, I think maybe you have the excuse of being from a different time zone, and nobody is. They're just, they're just taking the time to buy a $20 glass of beer just swill it down. I don't know why we love it so much. And then when you're at the gate, you're sitting there, you're waiting to go on, and everybody is eating these gigantic sandwiches. They just, I don't know why people get so hungry at the gate. They just start pulling out these gigantic sandwiches that they bought for $20 each, and they're just whole families, big old sandwiches, just horking them down before they get on the plane. And that's fun, because everybody likes to sit on a plane with a gigantic sandwich sitting in their gut. So I gotta think, those poor people up in the International Space Station, that's gotta be terrible. But I guess, I guess if somebody asked you to go up into space in a Boeing capsule, the answer should be no. And they got up there and, you know, I get upset when my flight is delayed. But they got up there, they were gonna spend seven days in the International Space Station, and then they were like, you know what, your flight back is delayed. Six months. You're gonna to have to stay in this trailer park in the sky for six months, and then at the end of it, Elon Musk is gonna rescue you. How humiliating is that? You know, one time when I was in college, my, my friends and I drove up to Canada. We were gonna go up there and party, because the drinking age was like 18. We got up there, we're ready to party, and the car broke down and my parents had to come up and rescue us. That must be how they feel in the International Space Station. Uncle Elon has to come and save them. I'm Joel Marshall, thank you so much. This has been a total privilege. 
playing LAX here on a beautiful afternoon. Now back to you, Joel.